Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to send in your Bible questions. If you do, I'll do my best to give you a Bible answer. Give you the email address at the end of the broadcast where you can send your questions. In the meantime, we do have a question from a listener today who asks, could you please explain how God is infinite? What does that mean? God is infinite. Um, There are several angles to look at the infinity of God. First off, it means that he is outside of time. He is infinite. He has no beginning. He will have no ending. He is infinite. He is not limited by time. You know, you and I have all had a beginning. We are not eternal. We are immortal because we will not end. But we are not eternal because we did have a beginning. That's why I think it is hard for us to grasp the infinity of God. How in the world could anyone ever always be? From They never have a beginning. It, it doesn't register, does it? But that's what it means when it says that God is infinite. No beginning, no end. He's outside of time. He's not confined to a moment of time like you and I are. But also, when you talk about the infinity of God, you have to include the fact that he has no limits. He is infinite in every aspect of his being. God is omnipresent. That means he is infinitely in every place at the exact same time. There isn't a place anywhere in God's creation, in this material universe, or any place else that he may have out there. I have no idea. But he's everywhere at the exact same time. And it's not pantheism. It's not a little bit of God here, a little bit of God there, and when you put it all together, you got God. No, he is 100% with me right now as I'm making this broadcast. He is 100% with you as you listen to this. He is 100% with the, with the person across the country who's listening to this a week from now. And it's all at the same time. And he's all there at the same time. God is omnipresent. He is infinitely present everywhere at the same time. He's omnipotent. That means he is infinite in strength also. There isn't anything that God cannot do. The Bible says, is there anything that's too difficult for the Lord? It's a rhetorical question. The answer is implied, no. God can do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond what we ask, think, or imagine because He is omnipresent. He is infinite in his power. And also he is infinite in the sense that he is omniscient. That means he knows everything. His knowledge is infinite. He knows everything about everyone and everything about everything. He knows everything that you have done. And watch this. He knows everything that you will do. And not only that, he knows that about every single human being. He also knows what would have happened if you would have made different choices. He knows the different scenarios that would have worked themselves out. It's a good thing he's infinite in his mind as well as his power and his omnipresence because just the thought of that causes me to blow a fuse in my mind. I can't can't even come close to grasping it, let let alone being it. But he is omniscient, infinite in his knowledge, infinite in his power, infinite in his presence, infinite with no beginning, no end, infinite, he has no limits, none at all, infinite in that he is not confined to this moment of time. He is above time, he is above space, he is infinite in every conceivable way. Isn't that a wonderful attribute of God? Makes you want to worship him, doesn't it? Me too. If you have any questions, please send them to scriptureverse by verse at gmail.com.